Another footage showing North Korean soldiers sent to fight in Ukraine as part of the Russian army have been released. The images circulated on Telegram channels show the distribution of military uniforms and supplies among Korean soldiers at the Sergeyevsky training ground in Russia's Primorsky region. Korean military personnel said they were ready for recruitment to the war in Ukraine. Earlier, footage was released in social media, showing North Korean army soldiers training at a military training ground in Russia. Kirill Budinov, head of the main directorate of defense intelligence of Ukraine earlier said that around 11,000 North Korean infantrymen were currently undergoing training in eastern Russia before heading to fight in Ukraine. They will be ready by November 1st, the intelligence chief said. Footage North Korean army soldiers training at a military training ground in Russia have been released. The images circulated on Russian telegram channels have been captured by Russian soldiers at the training ground. Hundreds of soldiers can be seen in the released footage. The Russian military says there are more Koreans in the area. It should be noted that Kirill Budinov, head of the main directorate of defense intelligence of Ukraine earlier said that around 11,000 North Korean infantrymen were currently undergoing training in eastern Russia before heading to fight in Ukraine. They will be ready by November 1st, the intelligence chief said. He noted that North Korean troops will use Russian equipment and ammunition, and the first echelon of 2,600 soldiers will go to Kursk, where fighting continues. Where the rest of the troops will be sent is still unknown. We don't have the full picture right now, Budinov noted. Еще. Их миллионы тут. Вот новые подкрепления. Это только начало, там еще дальше. Это только начало, там еще Новый. дальше. Все, нас... NATO's Security Assistance and Training for Ukraine Center will soon be launched at a German military base in Weisbaden. The facility already hosts U.S. command making preparations for the deployment of long-range missiles aimed at countering Russia. Neza Visimaya Gazeta writes, citing new NATO Secretary General Mark Root. NATO decided to create the Security Assistance and Training for Ukraine Center at the bloc's July summit. Washington is expected to hand all of its related powers over to the facility before the U.S. presidential election. The New York Times explains that the Security Assistance and Training for Ukraine will continue operating even if Republican candidate Donald Trump, who said earlier that the U.S. needed to stop giving any aid to the Ukrainian army, is re-elected president. The new Secretary General of the North Atlantic Alliance believes that the temporary deployment of U.S. long-range missiles to Germany starting in 2026 will be an additional tool to counter Russia. U.S. President Joe Biden and German Chancellor Olaf Scholz agreed on the missile deployment on the sidelines of the NATO summit in July. Root expects that U.S. long-range missiles will remain in Europe until Germany, France and some other European countries develop similar weapons of their own. However, it's hard to imagine this happening anytime soon because other NATO countries have relatively small defense budgets compared to the US.
While supporting Kiev, NATO is working with the US on its own aggressive plans, which are aimed against Russia. This is what Mark Rutte's statements are about. Moscow has repeatedly said that it will give a tit-for-tat response to such actions. Russian Lieutenant General Yuri Netkachev, a military expert, pointed out. The analyst noted that Moscow had strategic allies and partners ready to support its armed forces. This is particularly evident from Russian Defense Minister Andrei Belosov's recent visit to China. NATO is definitely raising tensions by holding nuclear drills near Russia's border. Alexei Zuravlayov, deputy chairman of the Russian State Duma Committee on Defense, said, Notably, Finland, which maintained neutrality for over 50 years, is taking part in the exercise for the first time, he noted. This means that U.S. nuclear weapons will be brought to the country, which has never hosted them before. The thing to keep in mind is that these weapons are equipped with gliding modules and can be launched from NATO aircraft without crossing our border. That said, the threat of an attack from Finland will significantly increase. The lawmaker emphasized 